It's time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host Ben, now let's dive in. Sad faces all around the crypto market today and the stock market as both of those continue to pull back. Uh, Bitcoin here on the daily had a little push up but getting rejected at that 200 moving average. So it's starting to push back down again. If we see Bitcoin drop under 40,000, we're probably going to continue to pull back. But when we're in this type of moves, we really need to look back at the bigger picture to understand where we're at. And we can see it somewhat on the daily chart. But if we go out to a weekly chart, things become a little bit more clear of what's going on. So we had the initial big run up. And now we're just doing this big consolidation. This looks like Bitcoin could have ripped and went up to 65,000. But where it got rejected at in this 52,000 area, you can line up your downtrend with. So with this downtrend and the support we already had drawn at 30,000, we can see this is a pretty clear big wedge of consolidation. So we may pull back down to 30,000 that's a possibility but i think we'll build a new higher low and it'll probably be around where the 50 day is so bitcoin might could drop under 40,000 we really don't want to see it do that but if it does that 50 day is there on the weak chart that we haven't quite touched yet is support right below 40,000. So the two scenarios that could happen at this point is we could stop around this area, consolidate a little bit, shoot up for another test of the downtrend now, and either break there or we sell off slowly to the bottom of the triangle maybe over the next day or two at that 30,000 level and we see a few days of testing like we saw here and then we see Bitcoin break up and out of this triangle for a big bull run. Now it is possible when we get to the tip of this triangle of consolidation that Bitcoin could drop out the bottom. But the 200 day is catching up there and Bitcoin has not been below the 200 day since last March. So that would be a very, very bearish move. For it to drop down this low especially when you have this peak back here at 20,000 this is a bearish candle here on the week chart we had that little indecision candle now we have a bearish engulfing candle so there could be a little bit more of a sell-off coming with this but I think we'll hold up maybe 35 maybe even that 40 above the 50 day right there for another test of the trend line it's just going to be a couple of weeks ethereum's really been hit hard it's even cracked below 3000 very bearish move on it but once again we look at the overall picture you know we're just coming down to that trend line the 200 day is right there on the daily so already we're getting some buy and starting to try to push up here so it looks like this candle here is probably going to close as an indecision, a little doji here. And tomorrow, if we see a little bit of a recovery on Ethereum, uh, it could easily come back up. That 10-day did cross the 50, but with that rebound, it would push the 10-day back above the 50. And we could see Ethereum start moving bullish again. But if Bitcoin drops hard at 30,000, uh, Ethereum will drop probably to this 2,200, 2,300 at the trend line if it cracks this trend line that would be the same thing as bitcoin cracking thirty thousand basically and we'd be moving into a pretty bearish crypto market for a while but we know how fast this market can change and with the type of drops we're seeing right now we do want to be careful and not get comfy and think that the crypto market can't crash and go bearish because the stock market has the possibility to really 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 drop we are still having altcoin breakouts 
MLN shooting up some more, breaking over 200 today. Looking very bullish. We'll go into the four hour chart on these. See that 10 day crossing over the 50 and 200. Very bullish move here. Up 33% so far. Looks like it's just starting to maybe heat up. It might continue to run here. If it does, it would probably run on that 250 before slowing down. But that's a strong sign for at least altcoins. Bitcoin and Ethereum might come down, but if we still got altcoins breaking out, hey, there's still money to be made in the crypto market. So one I got to point out is Shiba. Shiba really not a getting hit that hard on this drop, still holding in this sideways consolidation. It is closer to the bottom there, but it looks like it's going to hold us some support right here in this area as it's been trying to over the last couple of days. So Shiba's one to still keep an eye on, surprisingly, as it didn't get hit that hard. So Cardano down to two. This is going to be a serious test here at two. And it did drop below this previous candle that I don't like. If we don't see Cardano hold above two for much longer, it's probably going to dump back down to 150. So be very aware of that. But going through the, the tickers, Algorand really looking weak. Down below the 200 right now on the 4 hour chart. We go back to the daily chart. We can see it's just actually above the 50 day. You know all of this previous resistance here is trying to hold us some support. So Algorand might could bounce here. It's still above the 250 day and not far from the 10 day. One to keep an eye on if we're going to keep seeing altcoins rip. And you see Cosmos Adam pulling all the way back to the $30 area, but trying to hold there as well. And again, this is another one that's bullish. Just hit those all-time highs at 45 And if we see a little bit of rebound in Ethereum and Bitcoin, this could continue its rip. Same thing with Avalanche. You see Avalanche is holding up around that $50 area support. They actually had a pretty good rebound off of it, moving back up to the 60 area. So if it can get back above the 10 day and hold avalanche could go back bullish. But even ones that are looking bearish on their charts have come down to some pretty low areas. And we may see some buy and start to come in. I'm not a big fan of the RSI, but it'll show you if something is overbought or oversold. So above this line is really overbought means it's gotten too high in price and then this bottom line here means that it's oversold and below that area is extremely oversold so we're right there in the oversold territory but if you look back every time it dips to this oversold area at the bottom it pushes back up these plays that look really bearish right now like balancer here Maybe interesting opportunities to keep an eye on as you can see some buy and shoot these back up some now CGLD I did lock some Profits out on last night. I locked it out and you see it right here on coinbase lock where I had 110 and I locked out most of it in that 678 area so about a dollar 56 move and I still have 27 I'm holding and you can see we're looking pretty decent here like CGLD might continue to rip. Overall, looking at all of the market individually, all the cryptos individually, it's starting to look like there could be a lot of decent opportunities. And like I said, unless we're going into some super bear market where we're just going to keep crashing, if we see Bitcoin and Ethereum kind of hold where they're at right now, we could see a lot of these cryptos continue to pop. We may just go and be going into a straight hot altcoin season. And HBAR just hit highs of 60, which is all new highs for it. So it's another one of those that's still bullish, even though it had this big pullback. It sold off all of these gains, but it's still trying to hold that 50 day right there. So if it can hold that 50 day, they could easily see a rebound. So it doesn't, it doesn't look to me like the whole entire crypto market is crashing. It just looks like we had a pullback on Bitcoin and Ethereum. And we also had some pullbacks on these altcoins that were hitting all new highs. Luna, another example of that. And you can see holding up in this $25 area.
So at this point, we're just going to have to play things day by day to see which way the market is going to go. Last night, I wasn't sure which way it was going to go. It was looking pretty bleak. And seeing MLN have a big breakout and a few altcoins that look pretty good still, we may be all right. This may be the end of this little sell-off, and we may just go into another little consolidation phase. But that's all the coins I'm going to cover. Let's hop into news real quick on Coindesk. Blockchain infrastructure firm Block Damon nabs 1.3 billion valuation in 155 million funding round. So we got Asset Manager, not sure who this guy is, but launches a Polygon fund, or maybe it's a group of people. So there's going to be some interest in Polygon. And then we got some news here Gensler. SEC's Gensler calls stable coins poker chips at the Wild Wild West Casino. So that's an interesting uh, comparison, comparing plastic poker chips to sophisticated technology. But hey, he's in the SEC. He knows what's good for us, right? U.S. sanctions enforcer blacklists as crypto exchange for first time. So they labeled this... Suix.io, specifically designated national, they put this exchange in the category with suspected terrorists. Why would a crypto exchange be? <laughs> so it's a Russian-based company, alleged role in facilitating cryptocurrency transactions for ransomware attackers. So all of U.S. residents and citizens are forbidden to do business with the exchange on penalty of fines or prison. Wow. Suex facilitated transactions from at least eight ransomware variants, and as much as 40% of Suex transactions were associated with addresses linked to known malicious actors. So I don't know enough about this story because I've never heard of the suex.o, so maybe there could be some sketchy stuff with it. Reading this article, as of now, there's a lot of missing pieces to this puzzle here, so maybe we'll follow this story if it keeps going, but if it drops out the news headlines, and it obviously wasn't that big a deal in the first place. So that's it for today's crypto update. We will see what tomorrow brings. I'm going to cover a bunch of coins tomorrow, no matter what the market looks like. But again, we're kind of in a little bit of uncertainty till we see a little bit more confirmation of whether these support areas are going to hold or not. If there's any coins that I'm not currently covered on a weekly basis that you'd like me to cover, throw them down in the comments below. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.